Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hello everyone. Today we will talk about uh, panel nonlinear ARDL. Uh, I believe many of you are familiar with uh, uh, linear ARDL and panel uh, ARDL. But today we will talk about panel nonlinear ARDL. Panel nonlinear ARDL uh, provides you, uh, it can provide you the asymmetric effect of an independent variable on dependent variable. Uh, uh, first of all, you can you can check for the heterogeneity or cross section dependency, and that that should be the uh, the valid reason for you to to go for the uh, nonlinear ARDL, or you can use any nonlinear test. But uh, since, as I said, that uh, nonlinear ARDL can provide you the effect of positive and negative shocks on the uh, dependent variable. So it is very much useful uh, to use because the policy implications uh, can be very much uh, precise and uh, reliable since you are covering both kind of effects, both the negative and positive effect of uh, any independent variable or any of the variable that you are interested. So we are following this paper. Uh, you can you can follow this paper. Uh, it is. A kind of base paper uh, there are different kinds of uh, approaches that we people follow and different methods but since this this I believe this one is very much easy and you can follow it without any kind of difficulties and it can also provide you very good results so I have used uh, a different data set and uh, my data set is different let me show you my data set First of all, uh, let me show you my data set and uh, let me delete uh, previous values so that we can do it again. And for that purpose, we need to delete these values. Uh, you need to keep in mind one thing. Uh, I have the country IDs. I think I have mistakenly deleted the country ID. Let me put it again. Yes, these are my country IDs. And you know, I have numbered each time period. This is a very important thing. I have numbered each time period. Suppose my time, initial time period is 1995 and my, my last time period is 2013. So I have numbered it my time period accordingly. So you have to do the same thing. Uh, let me delete these values again. So the very first thing that we always do basically to to, to set our data set uh, to set the panel and in the here you need to keep in mind one thing this is not basically the years that the, the time period this is basically the number that i have provided to each time period so you need to set that with country id you can see i have i have did it now First of all, we need to gener generate positive and negative values for the variable of interest. The wh whatever variable you want to use, it's up to you, and basically depends on your data set. Suppose I want to use exports, and I want to see the positive and negative effect of export on carbon emission. So I will first generate these positive and negative effect uh, variable see see here i got the positive and negative uh, variables now in the next step what we need to do is we need to run a mean group and then pmt this is these are the results of the panel nonlinear mean group this is the error correction term and then we have to run the PMG. We are waiting for the results. So 
So these are the results. And then you can use a Hausman test to 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 check which one we methods we need to select. Since the null hypothesis support the PMG and the alternative is for MG. So you can verify this from this paper. The non-rejection of null hypothesis implies the adoption of PMG estimator, while the rejection indicates the adoption of uh, MG estimator. Now, since we got the results of the PMG, in the next step, we need to uh, get the long run and short run asymmetries for for both uh, short run and long run. And for that purpose, we need to use this command. We need to test the long run asymmetric or symmetric effect. The null hypothesis is basically for the symmetric and the alternative is basically for the asymmetric. So these are the results of the wall test or we have just uh, test for the long run uh, asymmetry uh, of exports the positive and negative variable and in the next step we need to check for the uh, short run asymmetry and for the short run asymmetry uh, you can see this command so we got uh, the, the alternative hypothesis support that we have uh, asymmetric effect and the null hypothesis uh, support that we have symmetric effect since you can see the results so once again i want to i want to uh, revise the whole thing first of all you need to set your panel then you need to by setting your panel you need to give number to each time period then you need to generate the positive and negative values and accordingly you need to run mg and pmg and then you need to run hausmann test uh, uh, to, to decide which one we should use and then followed by that we need to use the PMG and then we need to get the long run uh, uh, symmetric hypothesis, test the long run asymmetric hypothesis and the short run asymmetric hypothesis and this is all about the matter of panel nonlinear ARDL. Thank you very much.